Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, I believe. Yes, Thursday. So I'm almost done with the week. It's it's been it's been a rocky night. I didn't get to sleep too much. It took me a while to fall asleep, so I'm a little sluggish. But I have some hot cocoa right here because I don't want to have coffee, but I want something warm. My heater's on. It's a little bit chillier outside than what I look like it to be. Um, right now I'm prepping. I don't have enough thumbnail cards for the rest of the day, so I'm going to sit down and start chopping up some pieces of paper for everyone, and I'm really excited. Yesterday went smoothly with the lessons, so I'm going to expect today to go the same. It's definitely different from <laughs> how I'm what I'm used to teaching, so I'm learning with them. We're learning off of each other. To, um, this morning what I'm going to do, besides doing that, is I'm going to try to spend as much time working on paintings and artworks for my upcoming quarter auctions where I'm selling some of them. I finished my owl painting yesterday. If you want to go to my Instagram, my Instagram will have it. Um, it's the same username as my YouTube channel. So I did that uh, out painting in about two hours, I would say. Like I spent the time two hours um, with it already pre-drawn. I kind of drew it at home and then I took it here. So I have to work on this one, which is going to be a flamingo. And then I also brought another mini one just just in case I can do something else. The minis are a little bit easier to work on. And I need something to do during my break to kind of create, get my creative juices going. I entered a few of my drawings. The, my fish drawing, I have a line drawing of uh, the boot that I entered as well as my Great Wall of China drawing into my local um, art gallery so we'll see how that goes i had like a busy morning this morning it's monochromatic black white grayscale theme so i have i have lots and hopefully it will it will sell really easily but i don't know <laughs> we'll see my art typically doesn't sell that easy i'm excited for what's going to happen. It's going to be an easy day today. Hopefully, I don't want to have any problems. I I don't, so we'll see what the day entails. But yeah, I shall talk to you guys soon. And probably at lunch, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Morning, or afternoon, technically. So, I just had to go out and, um, watch the elementary at lunch so now I have prep I need more watercolor paper cut up so that way I am able to um, have my students do color wheels um, my next class I have a drawing so I'm really excited I like my drawing classes a lot like my drawing classes just <sighs> drawings where it's at they do their work, they're focused, and then I have my my painting classes. Um, my painting classes are, these days, they're a lot of work, and I have to really pull them in and be like, guys, this is, be respectful, and just constant, like, reminders, and I'm really working with these kids, but it's it's been fun. I really, I've been... I've been having a great, a great day. The kids did everything. They're excited to be able to work on their things. So now I'm just relaxing in my room. Um, I ate earlier, so now I just relax and just block everyone out of my room. Having my me time, my brain time, just to kind of prepare and just enjoy myself. It's been really fun. Fun. I've been I've been having a good work day and then uh because we still have the people walking in next next Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday I think 
So I'm trying to make sure everything is up that needs to be up. I still have a handful more thumbnails for my middle school and then today I have to have um, all the high school thumbnails up. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Make sure all their work is displayed nicely. I had my lead teacher come in and he was so excited to see the room set up and how everyone, everyone's work is all nice and it, it makes me feel so much better that it's loved and a lot of the kids today they were looking at the color worksheets and finding their own worksheets so it was a really cool experience to kind of get them excited to look at their work and see it displayed on the walls um being an early childhood educator major it's important that you do that and um i can kind of see why it's enjoyable for a lot of the kids even even the older kids because i notice the older kids even though they think they're more adult and more mature. They still get really excited like the younger kids do. Good morning, everybody. So today is Friday. It is early in the morning. It is a, almost 8.30, like 8.25. I have a lot to talk about. Yesterday, it was pretty good. Um, I only had problems in my last class which is kind of it's nice that I only had problems in that last class but it was just more of like uh, I had like a couple things going wrong and some kids just aren't getting used to the flow yet and I had like a little bit of a frustration feeling yesterday because you know, when you have a whole day going really good and then you have one class that just still isn't there yet, it does kind of get a little bit more frustrating, but I'm okay. I'm ready for the day. Uh, I was kind of running a little late. I didn't want to get up, so I kind of slept in a little bit more, but I'm up. I'm here. I'm ready for the day. I'm prepared. I need to hurry up and look. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some drawing prompts. Uh, because in my drawing class, one student already finished, and if a lot of students finish early for um, their assignment, then I am just going to um, just gonna deal with that. Let it kind of do its thing. Um, you know, let them just just do kind of like a like like a drawing prompt right now because our next lesson is until next week for that class. Um, my drawing class for Wednesday and Friday students are still going to be working on negative and positive space. It's it's a long process. It's kind of confusing me because it's I would wish that, you know, like anybody would wish that every week is consistent, but because I started on a Friday and um, you know, and that was the first class, it's it's a little bit harder to kind of get down what they're doing. And I've been trying to find more like teacher, like planner-ish kind of things that help kind of give me a visual. And right now I just have the calendar that the school provided for me. That's been working a lot better because I can visually see as I write things down, like which days are which. So it's definitely just something that I have to prepare for it. I'm used to just doing two separate classes like once a week. I'm not used to consistent like Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday and everything is so I'm just trying to refocus. I needed a brain break. We watched last night. I watched a little bit of Lord of the Rings and I knocked out. I was tired. I'm ready for today and I'm ready for the weekend. I'm really excited um, to sleep in but I'm also really excited to just relax enough. Uh, not too much, because I have a lot to do, but just to get a little more relaxation and not have teacher brain, stern, strict teacher kind of mode, which I don't like to do, but I have to. So it's just been kind of like a, I, I'm just very tired. I'm naturally a very introverted person. I don't really like to talk a lot. Like I do like to talk, but I just kind of like to be in my space. I'm used to just staying in my little studio if I'm not working and painting and doing my thing. And it's it's a rough roller coaster that I've 
had to experience a little bit it's kind of just like a whoosh like I just kind of came in and now I had to keep going strong for a little while just to get everyone used to it the schedule, the plan. It's its hard for everyone. So I'm, I'm getting there and I'm understanding. I'm learning from them. It's, it's, it's getting handled and I, I love it. I think that, that it's, that I'm taking it like a champ right now. So basically what is going on today is I'm going to finish up my drawing students with negative positive space and then the rest I have everybody else making, creating their own color wheel. So I told them today was the due date. We have to have it done today. They need to work hard today. We'll see how that works out because next week I want them to do presentations. I think during my prep time I'm going to go to the office and just print out a get scanned all my presentation things um, that I have. Uh, let's see if I can show it to you. So I printed off a couple of rubrics. So I had this student one where I'm going to fill it out and then I kind of want them to start learning how to assess themselves. So this is kind of like their self-assessment on their personal artwork, not like for that day. And then I have an art rubric so that I can go over like, this is what I need, this is what's going on. Yeah, so I'm going to get these done at prep, I think. I have to get them to do it because I don't have my code. I don't have anything yet. So it's kind of, um, <sighs> It's a lot to do right now. I'm eating Thin Mints for breakfast because I was late. It's, like I said, it's one of those days where you're just kind of like, you know what? It's Friday. I'm just, yeah, that's going to be me. <sighs> My classes are so weird like my middle schoolers like me on a certain set of days and those on those days with middle schoolers middle schoolers like me that high school doesn't quite like me and then I have the other day where the middle schools like me and then the high you know like it's, it's just they don't like me and then my high school loves me so It's, it's been a little confusing and I am such a people pleaser that it really frustrated me yesterday because I wanted everyone to be flowing in a specific way and I want them to feel comfortable and I don't want them to feel like, you know, everything is going wrong and I think that that's, that's the problem is in thinking too much right now. I'm just kind of like oh, I need them to feel like this, 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 and that's not how it works. It, it really isn't, and I have to get out of that mindset. I'm slowly getting there, but it's kind of been a really big challenge for me. I, nah, it's just been, it's been a challenge, so. I will see you after my two middle school classes and I will update you on how they are doing. Typically these classes are pretty really good. I love these set of classes. I have a couple kids that are um, a little bit harder to kind of get across and you know you have to really talk to them and be like hey yada 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 but they're usually pretty just really good so I hope I hope it's a good day. I really do because it's going to drive me nuts if it's not. But I shall talk to you guys at break slash prep. Don't know how it's going to work, but I'll talk to you then. Bye. Hi guys. So, take my glasses off. This morning went really good. All my kids did what they needed to do. Their creative juices were flowing. A lot of them finished. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with 
um, something for them to start. I think I'm gonna have a color. I think I'm gonna have some of them start on kaleidoscope pieces. So I'm gonna have them do that, and I think that we are going to. Yeah, I, I think we'll just do some snippet of a of that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I'm still accumulating something, processing for it, but it went really good. I was excited. I was in a happy mood flow. Um, I had a little cafe music on to get them to kind of make it a little happier. I tried different classical music yesterday, but I think I like the cafe music a lot better, like French cafe music. I think it made them feel a lot better. I think it was kind of more chirpier, like talkative kind of atmosphere. We'll see. I don't know. Um, I know my high school classes are very, very quiet in here. So it's going to be something. I am trying to get something to do. Uh, my next assignment for my drawing classes, they're still going to work on their negative positive spaces, but I am going to have them start drawing in line. So I just went to the office to try to get different um, examples. So I have this cute dog, which I think a lot of the kids are going to use. And then I'm going to have them practice still life and a couple things. So I have... Um, this still life that I'm gonna have them try to mimic because it will be really important I want them to really focus on different types of line how to incorporate values and then I also have this really cool portrait that I found of this woman I thought it was I thought it was super cool and then I oh I forgot to give her this but I do have this one too I forgot these so I guess we're not doing these anytime soon and then I have this one here like an animal that is in there so I'm really excited I think right now I'll just have them do the dog for a little bit because this one's a lot looser and um, especially for my early finishers but I have a couple kids who already finished their work for drawing class which will be my next upcoming class so I don't think that uh, they'll have nothing to do so I think that'll give them a little bit of time I already have a student to um, practice, which is good. This is my little middle schooler. She did super good. Um, and so I just was like, no, take this because she finished her color wheel design today. I'm letting a lot of things dry. I'm going to kind of stick them together because some kids use pastels. So I pulled out these drying racks um, so that they can dry. I want to order for next year a cubby system. So they can put their artwork in and just split it in half to make my life a little bit easier. Because uh, I'm going to, it's a lot that I need to do. So yeah, I that's, that's my plan for next year. So I'm going to eat real quick. I technically supposed to be my prep, but I just clocked out for lunch because I'm hungry and I just read, read. It's easier to do it now. I tried yesterday to do it later. It didn't work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just eat. I'm going to chill and then I'll do my... Uh, elementary lunch watch and then I'm going to go to do uh, my prep work which I did a lot of prep I have all like the final papers out for them so hopefully hopefully we get somewhere with that I might need to prep more paper we'll see I shall talk to you later bye